Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Um, <clears throat> you did legal work for Huawei. Is that correct? I did uh, when I was in private practice. Yeah. Uh, a number of years ago, I did okay. a small amount of work at the best. Of my so time. is the pretty well the policy of the United States to tell our allies uh, that if you buy Huawei technology. And we're not going to do business with you because we think Huawei is an extension of the Communist Party and it would get into all of our data and it would be a national security threat. We've actually told allies if you join Huawei, we're going to shut down sharing with you. Are you familiar with that? I'm aware of some of the work the United States government Based on started. what you know about Huawei, is that sound policy? Uh, Senator, I think... I did a small amount of work for Huawei a number of years no, ago. No, that's not my yeah. question. Is I mean, you, 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 know, you did a small amount of work for yeah. Huawei. I'm not holding your client against yeah. you. I just want to understand, yeah. do you know who you're representing here? Yeah. I, I, I mean, Huawei is considered by our government a threat. So if, you, a foreign, if you're an ally of the United States and you buy the Huawei systems, we're going to shut down sharing information. That's, that's the policy that I support. Does that make sense to you, given what you know about Huawei? Senator, I've, uh, a lot of time has passed since I, since yeah. I represented Huawei. Things have changed. I, th I have no reason to second guess the, the, the policy of the United States on this ground. And I think okay. more importantly for my current role is for the role of the Well, during your before. time representing them, did, did the way they do business give you any concerns along those lines? Yeah, so I mean, it was, a, I mean, Huawei is owned by the Communist Party, basically, right? Senator, I, I, I can't remember uh, my thinking at the time. Yeah. What I can say is that OLC is, is not a policymaking office. Yeah, and I got you. Uh, uh, the Hong Kong Trade Development Council. Um, so you're familiar with those folks, right? <laughs> I did, I did, I, much yeah. like Huawei, I did a small yeah. amount of work for them. Yeah, so uh, during 2019, the government of Hong Kong uh, went hard against pro-democracy protesters um, and the Hong Kong Trade Development Council uh, seems to be uh, behind the, the governor of Hong Kong, whatever you call the guy. Uh, did you ever say anything to them about what's going on in terms of this will not good? Senator, my, my work for the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, much like my work for Huawei, was done at the request of other partners. And I, no, I, I, know, I understand I had no interaction that. I mean, with everybody deserves a lawyer. I mean, trust me, I've represented people I don't agree with. That's, that's not the point. The point is, it seems to me that during 2019 was a crucial time for democracy in Hong Kong. And that was the time where I would expect people to stand up and be counted. Uh, not provide comfort. So did you ever or anybody in your firm ever suggest to the Chinese Hong Kong Trade Council that what you're doing is going to put you on the wrong side of the United States and out of line with international law? I can't speak for everyone in my firm. I, I had no direct interaction with them. So okay. I, I, thank you very much. Thank you. Senator Blumenthal. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Fonz, 